Hi everybody, it's Brett from Vox Glitch here presenting a brand new module that I will be releasing soon called the Vox Glitch Q Research. Essentially it is a sample player which allows you to put in markers or cue points and when the playback hits one of those cue points it sends out a trigger output on one of 32 outputs and each output could have multiple triggers so you can see as I'm clicking through these highlighting um, all the trigger points or cue points associated with that output. Down here is essentially the same waveform, just a constantly zoomed out view, which allows you to quickly grab and move the scrubber if you need to. You can also grab and move the scrubber from the top. You can zoom in. I'm using the scroll bar. You can also zoom in by clicking and pulling up and down and you can pan and if you um, of course you can add and remove markers so let me go over that really quickly you make sure uh, lock markers is turned off so to add a marker you just select which output you want it for and you double click you can move it around and if you want to remove it you just double click again so let me go ahead and lock the markers again Oh, let's go back in there just real quick. So here we've got uh, enable vertical drag zoom. That's really if you want to disable it, if it annoys you. And then we have trigger length, which um, again, if the fast trigger length's not working out for you, you can adjust it. The trigger length is the same for all of the different trigger outputs. You've got your transport over here. Um, start starts it, stops stops it, reset sets it to the beginning, but doesn't stop it. Um, so if you want to reset and stop, you have to trigger both. And audio output is audio output. Uh, what I have it hooked up to right now is a bunch of effects. Well, switches first and then effects. So the audio is going into the switch. Um, I'm using two because I'm doing stereo and I didn't take the time to find a stereo switch. And then here uh, we've got triggers which are the markers are hooked up to, which will route the audio to the different effects. So let me, <coughs> excuse me, Let's go up, up to here and start it up. I hope you heard during this part it switching around quite a bit. Um, I don't have it set up to bypass this, but if you keep listening to the track, uh, that's the only time it does that fancy effect thing, so. Let's give it one more listen. I think that kind of covers it. Um, I should be releasing it pretty soon. I think it's ready to go, but I'll get it in the hands of some early adopters first, just to make sure that everything's working properly and nobody finds any features, critical features that are missing. Uh, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple and enjoy, thanks.